Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay. Alright, spotted that. Let's see if we can disarm it. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we did clear this level. Let me check the inventory just to refresh my memory here. Um... I guess if this scroll were to turn a profit, we could potentially make 20 gold and uh, enchant one of these daggers. Which is something I would really like to do. Um, but I don't know that that's going to happen. I think we're just going to keep going. I think that's the play. Oh, you know what? We needed to try this chest again. I forgot about this. I wonder if I can bust it open. That's not going to happen. Alright. It's very rare. Oh, I was going to say, it's very rare that we come across a chest that we can't eventually open. There we go. Thank goodness we got this open. Look at that. Okay, so we are certainly going back to town. So we have 200 gold now. Uh, let's sell these bolts for four. And we might as well find out what's going on with this scroll. Identify, and it's worth two. That is really cheap. Now, we don't have the literacy skill, so we can't even use this. So we might as well just sell it for the two gold. Uh, let's go back down here and just make sure. The immune to energy drain, that seemed, that's probably a good idea. I don't think we have any enchantment on that. Yeah, okay, we'll buy these. Uh, I'm just going to throw those away. They may have been worth a little more than 10 that it would have cost to identify them, but I don't know. Uh, see if there's anything interesting here. You can put three enchantments on that. That might be something to pick up in the future. First, okay, so let's enchant this dagger. Silencing, shock, and knocking. I'm guessing that's knockback. Um... Silencing would be great, obviously, when dealing with a uh, mage. But I don't know that that would be... It's not so universally applicable, but something like shock or knockback would be, it seems. Um, I'm going to go with shock on this one. And then I'm going to enchant the other one. Increased chance to crit, spell damage, chance to instantly kill. Yeah. Uh, I think chance to instantly kill is the way to go. Now we got to identify him to get the use here. Alright, D6 shock damage. Uh, oh, this one was already identified. Okay. And we still have a little bit of gold. There's no bow for sale or anything. So, let's... We're immune to instant death and energy drain, but that's about it. Let's enchant these. Sleeping or leeching. Uh, I guess this would prevent us from going, being put to sleep, which would be great. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm just short of the gold to identify them, so I'll just sell these arrows. Alright, immune to sleep. Excellent. Okay. All right. All right, I'm hoping that that orc and that rat are fighting each other. Yep. The orc has one, as you might expect. And he's hit me with a rock. And he's hit me with another rock, if you believe that. Um, I don't have anything really to throw at him. All right. You hit an orc grunt with a dagger of shocking. He was already hurt from the fight with the rat. So that's very nice. Um, you know, good on that. And, ah, oh, my goodness, I was just... I was just about to comment about how I should have searched before moving. We got dungeon fever. 
But we have an antidote. So that takes care of that problem. But we still have some temporary debuffs here. And we're silenced, which doesn't matter. Uh, so let's hope we have two charges here for our abilities. Let's try to get out of here. And we failed both times. That's pretty bad. I don't think we can rest effectively down here, but I'm going to try to eat and drink and, and do that. Let's try to get out. There we go. All right. I'm telling you. Those spike pits are the bane of my existence. <laughs> right, level 5, that's going into stamina. Shit. Oh my goodness, we just stepped into some more spikes. Got to be kidding me. I hate getting into a position where it feels like I can't take a step without searching first. Because it's so. it consumes so many turns. And when you're dealing with hunger and thirst and such, you know, that's, that's not. it's not an optimal situation. Oh, what do we have here? Home ring, yes. All right. Hey, three food rations. That is great. All right. Let's go back to town. Let's identify the tome, and hopefully it won't be cursed. Hopefully it'll be worth some decent gold. Home of healing touch. It is worth 33. I mean, that's pretty good. I'll take it. Now the ring. Ring of Familiar summons and controls a whelp when equipped. This ring is destroyed if the whelp dies. I don't even know what a whelp is. Um, but I'm curious. Uh, the Ring of Familiar can't be equipped or unequipped while in town. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's sell these fine bolts for 12 gold. And let's identify this potion. Diluted Potion of Strength. Makes you stronger than you were like a minute ago. How much is that worth out of curiosity? Nine? I might as well hold on to it. Yeah, okay. Whoops, did not mean to break that apart. Make sure I'm careful around the snails. Okay. Let's eat and drink before moving on. That's why. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. This guy probably is a magic user, which means I don't stand a chance here. So instead, the only other option is to push a stone over this ladder so we can reset the dungeon. Obviously, this could be a time-consuming process, but especially when you're not a strength build. All right, we just used five charges and failed to move it. I don't know if I can push it diagonally, I, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could, in theory. There we go, there we go. Now, I didn't think about it because that's the kind of idiot I am. Now there's nothing I can do with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I think the same would be true of anybody. Okay, well, I... This is natural selection, folks. Me dying here is natural selection. All right, so I'm going to drink this strength potion. And here we go. I'm going to try to get to the magic guy, even though I think I should just attack this guy first, possibly. Let's do it. All right, we, he feared us, and so we couldn't react, and we died. I think I made the wrong call there. 
I think the right call was to attack the mage first, even though he wasn't right next to us. All right, here we go again. Bolts to sell. We have dungeon fever. So we've got to use our antidote. Can't rest because we have enemies nearby. That's right, we checked that. And we're dead, probably. Yep, we're dead again. Okay, that's okay. We can hope for a better start this time. Alright, so here is a potion. Alright, let's disarm that bear trap. Agility up to 9. We may just have to give in and try a strength build sooner rather than later. That's what it's starting to look like. Alright, there's a snake. We'll wait one turn. Hopefully not get poisoned. Alright, padded boots, we're gonna throw them on. There's a dog. These bolts. I don't know how much those are worth, but I feel like they're probably not worth that much, but I'll take it for now. Don't need that large melee weapon, so we not. Alright, you've cleared the dungeon. That works for me. Alright, we have a talent point. Let's go back to town. Alright, so we have no gold, which is obviously a problem, but we can get six by selling those bolts. But that's not enough to identify anything. So, we're just going to have to reset the dungeon. We're certainly not taking any quest. Alright. And, uh... Let's mix things up. Let's, let's hit up a card game here. Alright, what are we putting at the bottom of the deck? I guess this evasion one. We've got another evasion. Or at least two of them, actually. Alright, let's get three armor. Let's get the spikes going. Uh, let's get one parry, and then we'll hack at them. Yeah. Alright, not too bad. We didn't lose any HP. Get this extra armor there. We don't know exactly what he's going to do. We're gonna smash, and then we'll... Yes, he only has one defense. So we got eight health on that one. Plus one hidden. Interesting. Alright, we have four armor. That's decent. So let's get some evasion as well. And then... I guess we're gonna hit him with this again. Oh, so hidden, I guess that made us miss. Alright, but we still haven't lost HP. Okay, armor is still looking okay, but I'm gonna add to it anyway. Do some damage. Still looking good. Still looking good. He's got two evasion. Um, we got six armor, that should be okay. Reduce his armor, gain one evasion, and I'll gain another one. There we go. Alright, let's get that armor and then chop. Now he's hidden again. Let's see if we can hit him regardless. No, okay, but that takes hidden away, I'm pretty sure. We have so much armor, it's it's fine. Alright. Let's see what we got. We got 35 gold, leather cap, and padded gloves. Uh, I'll take the padded gloves, we don't need the cap. Well, you know what? I'll just wear it temporarily. 
and hope that it's not cursed. You have unlocked shoot card. All right, we're gonna have to look at our deck and arrange our deck eventually. I don't know exactly how that works, but I will figure it out. I'm pretty confident. Don't want those sticks. Uh, damage recurve, we could fix that. Put on this worn leather armor for now. Alright, let's eat and drink and rest. The trifecta. Alright. What is going on over there? Okay, this guy is hostile. He has his face covered. So this is damaged, but we're going to use it anyway. There we go. Alright, potion, padded armor, and a mace. So we're going to equip the mace in both hands. Switch the padded armor for this. Get rid of it. Alright. That arrow. And stepped on an alarm trap, got lazy, didn't want to search. More arrows is a great thing to see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. That's the first time we did that this uh, episode, though, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, we haven't cleared. There's still some more. Oh, that's right. There's another door, isn't there? Or, oh, actually, there's a... Okay. Thinking of the previous level. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's go ahead and identify. We really need to make some money here. Wolf form. That's worth 13. We made 3 gold. We need 50 to enchant something. But actually, I should check this first. Or that, but immune to polymorph would be very nice. Immune to paralysis, that's only 14. Ooh, man, that's good, too. Oh, man, there's lots of enchanted stuff. I'm really wishing I had money now. Blue Potion of Sickness. That's worth two. Well, we lost out on that, but we can poison our weapon with it. One thing we can do. And, um... Oh, I forgot to use that ring in that last run, didn't I? The familiar one. Oh, I totally forgot. Just now remembered. And... What, let's go for broke. 13. So we made 3 off of that. Alright. Let's... Okay, so I was made to understand <laughs> that when you used some kind of poison or something, it would apply it to your weapon. So I clicked on it. Uh, and it says, you drink a diluted potion of sickness, you are diseased, you are affected by dungeon fever. So we have to use our antidote. Oh man, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. That's, that's all it is. Alright, level four. Wow, what are those? Infernal Gloves. I mean, we gotta put those on. It's a shame they don't show up on the avatar. I'm not going to get any of these abilities, so we're not going to use that trainer tile. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, we stepped into a spider web. Let's eat and drink. Get that HP back. Hey, there's an amulet. That should be worth some decent money. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Go back to town. Identify the amulet. All resistance is plus one. Grants immunity against stun effects. Actually, I don't even want to sell that. It's worth 33, but I'm just going to put it on. That's what we're going to do there. Probably no way we're going to make profit on this, but let's try that. Oh no, we got ripped off pretty badly. Okay. It happens. Get rid of this dagger. Make a little bit of money back there. Uh, yeah. Okay. We are really hurting economically on this run so far. Uh, let's see what we got here. Alright, all right. so this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you guys, as always, for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, please hit like and subs uh, subscribe if you would like to. Sorry, stumbling over my words there. And I'll see you guys next time.